Stop hate speech against the Igbos. It could lead to pogrom, Kohanese says to other tribes. Chief Emmanuel, the President General of the Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohanese Ndibo, has appealed to other Nigerian tribes to desist from peddling hate speech against the Igbos. The reputable businessman also warned that the continued hate speeches against the people of the South's extraction could lead to a pogrom. He said that this on Saturday, March 16, 2024, while speaking during an interview on Arise News. Iwanya will note that Igbos are major stakeholders in the country, courtesy of their contributions to the economic growth of states after they are outside their region through businesses and investments. However, he said these people have become targets of persecution in some parts of the country, notably Lagos and Abuja. His comment isn't unconnected with the demolition exercise embarked upon by the Lagos state government to remove properties illegally erected on canals and other water channels in, in parts of the state. He claimed that the exercise was skewed to punish the evil people, urging the government to be judicious in its approach and refrain from actions that may give rise to suspicion that it is pursuing the vendetta. According to him, people moved from Lagos to after the state became the nation's capital and contributed massively to its economic development. For this reason, he said his people have earned their right to live on the property and in the state and we have no intention to return to the east, no matter the plot against them. While appealing to other tribes to stop hateful remarks about people from the east, he vowed the Igbos would rebuke any one of them caught making similar remarks against people of other tribes. Iwanya was said the alleged hate speak narrating is seeping into the subconsciousness of the younger ones and may damage their psyche if not stopped. The hate speak is a problem and it could lead to prognom, the younger ones clarified today. The hate speech is a problem and it could lead to pogrom. The younger ones today are children are eating. All right. Iwanya also said the alleged hate speech narrative is seeping into the subconscious of the younger ones and may damage the psyche if not stopped. The hate speech is a problem and it could lead to pogrom. The younger ones today, our children are getting worried. I read by one. Sunday, who says he cannot can come for that day. There was nothing he did not talk about evils. He called us all sort of names. He said every trouble in Yoruba land is caused by the evils. Okay, you know, you know when an evil child in secondary school reads this, they get frightened, they get worried. We will take notice that we Igbos are going are not going to allow anybody, any woman to do the same to other tribes. If they do it, all of us together will come and come out to stop them. Yohane is a leader. You know when an Igbo child in secondary school reads this, they get frightened. They get worried. We Igbos take notice and we Igbos are not going to allow anybody, any woman to do the same to other tribes. If they do it, all of us will come out to stop them, the Ohanese leader said. He called on the federal government and leaders from other tribes to step in and caution their tribesmen to discontinue the alleged hate campaign against the Igbos because the trend is having a severe impact on the Southeasterners. So we are appealing to the federal government, we are appealing to the other tribes to tell their people to stop all those hate speeches against Igbos, it affects our children. It affects our people. And we get worried about it because we think we are doing our best for the country. And of course, you know, because of this now, it has extended. We are denied of positions. Igbos that we are denied of positions, he added. Okay, um, this is one of the reasons why they go see, make them leave, basically one claim, claim, make a claim on J, J, J. Huh. The hate speech against Igbos on this lawless country, Nigeria, is overwhelming. I think it is time that Igbo should unite and talk about Biafra independence. Let us stay on our own. 
You and your tribesmen are nothing but a bunch of confused. While a breath, you admitted that all the evils you know are nice people, but in order but you said the ones on social media are something else. Whatever you meant, it is not your cow brain. It is rotting and is incapable of reasoning. You would have therefore known that your view and your assessment of the evil would have been informed by actual delays and physical interactions with them, but not by those on social media. Evil have their own country, but Yoruba and the house have refused to create their own country. Ibo, they have, have, okay, Ibo, don't they have their own country, but Yoruba land and Hausa refuse to create their own country. All right, Ibo have their own country, but Yoruba and Hausa refuse to create their own country. Those thinking of Nigeria benefiting from a scam called Nigeria. One day, we and the Yorubas will end it in a battlefield. Whoever win will all see it. Okay, well. Yoruba, Igbo and Hausa Fulani have no business whatsoever being together in a country. Even the British to forced everyone together into Zoo Nigeria have themselves since executed the EU. Meanwhile, Dumb being black animals continue to play fast, kill and die okay. Eliminate and die for his Algeria cre created Okay. Hold on. Created for them by racist white men and from far away Britain. Unity is never by force. Biafra if it's sanko sans, non negotiable and inevitable. Make everybody take a chill pill. Hmm? They never reach like this, I beg. They never reach like this. The Igbos are not culture. They have an insulting culture. They thrive on insult because they are full of hate, really. And yet they are, they are, they are and, the, and yet they are begging the same Igbo people for fake unity. Is God not wonderful? Unity is never by force. Biafra is sanctions, non-negotiable, and inevitable. Why not relocate to your land and develop it instead of saying you are not leaving your rebel land, irrespective of provocation? The was in Lagos are doing one Nigeria with the Yoruba people. Besides, the last time I checked, Lagos and Lagos is no man land at all. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.